Uh, I'd go above it. I don't really know what a maximum. So there are a lot of badminton rackets out there, like a lot. And badminton nerds like me know which are the top rackets and which are the entry level ones. With so many rackets at widely different price ranges, I wanted to know if regular badminton players would be able to notice the difference between a top end racket all the way down to the entry level models. So I handed out 8 demo rackets to 9 university badminton players, all of which were the recently launched Astrox 99 series, from the Pro all the way down to the Play, both in White Tiger and Cherry Sunburst colours. I did not give anyone any information about the rackets whatsoever and just asked them to play and test each racket out. So let's find out what happened. My name is Harry. Charlotte. I'm Eloise. I'm still Curtis. <laughs> Lucy. Dan. Emily. My name is George. The Pro. The Pro is my favourite. Uh, the Red Pro one. The Pro. Uh, for me it would be the, uh, the Black Pro racket. Uh, mine is the same one. Yeah, mine was the white pro. I preferred the pro. I've gone for the Cherry Sunburst Tour Edition. The 99 tall one. Uh, the tall one. Yeah. I like the white, yeah. Um, yeah, it just seemed the most balanced out of them all. It was quite light and the grip was quite comfy. Uh, yeah, it's a balance between power and, and just the stability and um, the grip is very nice as well. I think it was, a, it was actually the different, the different um, halls made a difference to me. Yeah, it was a really light racket and um, it just felt right. It felt like I had quite a lot of control when I was doing my shots. I personally do like heavier rackets, especially, and I like I play much more singles and doubles as well. I was in a slow haul and like the faster tall, a little bit lighter was better. Using it, like the shots just felt nice. It's kind of nice to have the extra bit of swing through when you're hitting overhead shots. Yeah, and it's also just lighter and I'm not very strong so that helps. Uh, it's just lighter. I'm not really fond of head-heavy head rackets. I do like the fact that they're head-heavy. I felt that this, compared to some of the other ones, was a bit more... Like, there was a bit more of a backswing, a bit more flexible, uh, and it gave a bit more uh, when you were hitting sort of more powerful shots. Yeah, I do, yeah. The, what was it? The cherry red looks sexy, doesn't it? It looks sexy. <laughs> No. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um. No. Yeah, I, tr I tried tour on both, like the tour ver version, and I couldn't really tell the difference. Same. Uh, it's, it's very similar, so I'm not too not too bothered either way. I like like them both. Uh, I mean, playing playing wise, no, but I mean, yeah. It, it, a flashy racket looks nice. <laughs> uh, 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 I don't know the name, it's Forza or something? Forza or something? I, I can't remember the name. Dora 10, but I broke it, so I'm using the Dora 10 LT now. <laughs> um, see, I don't know, yeah. is it a Yonex one? <laughs> yeah, I think mine's the same, Yonex. It's not a very good one. <laughs> it's a Dura 8XP. I've got, I've got it here, but I don't know what it is. It's a Yelix racket. I'll get it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. So a, it's a Yelix X TT5 Nano. Yeah. Medium flex. Yeah. 83, 85 grams. Well, I got these seven years ago, and I spent £40 on them. <laughs> so I haven't spent much recently. <laughs> 50 to 80 pounds? Yeah, maybe around like 40, 50 quid. Probably like a maximum of 100 pounds. About 180? Yeah. That's right. Expensive. Yeah. I think mine was like 120 ish. Yeah, between 80 and 120, I think. Yeah. 150 and 200. Yeah, I'd say 100 to 150. <laughs> Now I've got a job, <laughs> £180. <laughs> Probably like 140. Yeah, 150. 140, 150, yeah. I probably won't go over 200. Same. 100 to 130, maybe. Yeah, probably about 150. My, my maximum is 180. <laughs> no, no way I'm going above 180. Uh, I'd go above it. I don't really know what my maximum.
Well, I can tell Poe is the most expensive. The play and the game, I think they're very similar. I mean, the tall is a little bit of a step up, I and mean, then the pro is quite by itself. It's like how they all feel. I'd say the pro would be most expensive because it felt nice to play with. <laughs> what did you say? Yeah, I can't really tell. <laughs> I remember playing with the game one, and I think that'll probably be one of the cheapest. Yeah, I'd agree. I'd say the pro definitely felt um, more expensive than many of the other ones. You could tell which ones were the cheaper ones, but I wouldn't say you could tell which one was like de facto the cheapest. <clears throat> yeah, I pretty much agree with him, but I think game was like the lower end. I don't know, I had, I had that feeling because I tried to smash it a few times, but it just took going terrible, <laughs> wrong. I have no clue. I wouldn't be able to pick out a top and bottom, but I'd probably be able to split them into like halves of it. Uh, I'd say the, the tour and the pro uh, compared to the, is it the game one as well? I'd say the game one's probably the cheaper one. The pro. Yeah, I think the same. The, I think the play play in the game definitely cheapest. Pro definitely most expensive. So if I tell you the play, less than the third of the price of the pro. That's quite that's scary. <laughs> I probably still get the the pro just because I didn't I was not a fan of the play at all to be honest. Didn't like it. I'd probably stick with the tall one. <laughs> less than a third of a pro. Then the pro. Um <laughs> Depends how much the pro was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there wasn't a massive difference between them, so for the money, I'd probably go with the cheaper one if it was less than the yeah. third. I'll still get the pro. Bougie. <laughs> I'd still go for the pro. <laughs> I'd go for the play. Yeah. It's not that huge of a gap, it's just the grip. For me, mainly the grip made a big of a difference. So if I get the grip for that one, I'd I'd go one third the price. Yeah, yeah. Saves a lot of money. Still the tall one. Probably still the tall one. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So yeah, the tall one. So what do you think? It was good to hear everyone go in with what they felt was the preferred bracket of choice. So some went for the pro, others went for the tour, and also seriously considered the play when they were made aware of the huge price difference in there. I also wanted to point out that this was certainly a really good experiment to show that a particular model of racket might be good for one person, but might not be suitable for the next person. Additionally, a few people certainly noticed how different the strings played for each racket, so this again backs up my other theory where strings and tension matter more than rackets. So if you have a new racket, try it out with the usual string and tension so you've eliminated as many variables as you can to properly enjoy your new rackets and make adjustments if you need to. So when I do my racket reviews, I try and provide context and comparisons to help you guys make the best equipment decisions going forward. So if you like something like this, give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Are you subscribed to my channel? No. I am. Subscribe. Notification bell on. <laughs> All of that. Are you subscribe to my channel? Yes. I am too. Subscribe to my channel? Yes. I will be. <laughs> Are you going to do it now? Yes. I'll, I'll get your name, yep. Of course I am. No, but we can't do it. Yeah, we, <laughs> we can't be. <laughs>